Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Oh, man. Turn about serenade. Are you guys ready for a new chapter? I am. I just had a huge-ass mug of coffee. I'm hyped up. Let's do it. Oh, god damn it. This always happens. We're fine. It's okay. Yes? Okay. <laughs> Let's rock! Yeah! Let's do it. Hell yeah. Who is it? Play it. I think I know who that is already. Whoa, who's that? Is that Mondo? Yo, we love you. Yeah, baby. That looks like fun. Rock on, everyone. This party's not over yet. Get out your handkerchiefs for our special guest. That's right, baby. The night's just getting started. Thank you for coming to the Gaviniers Guilty as Charged Tour. Is that actually what his band is called? This ends the first part of tonight's show. There will now be a 20-minute intermission. All right. Ooh. Is that a blue badger over there? What is that? <laughs> oh, come on, guys. All right. Backstage hallway, July 7th. <gasps> Trissy, what are you doing back here? This is so cool. Us at a Gaviniers concert. Is it Gaviniers? Gaviniers? Oh, my God, you guys. I'm so bad. <laughs> Please educate me, for goodness sake. I don't want to offend a whole country. Huh? Did you say something? My ears are still ringing. The Gavin is putting the sick back in music. Well, I thought Mr. Gavin was really nice. Oh, look at her little smile. She's so cute. Sending us those tickets at 20% off. They're hard to get a hold of, you know. When you invite people to a concert, it's usually free. Let's head to his dressing room, Apollo. Yeah, let's hopefully catch him naked. I mean, what? You know, like we're a couple of VIPs. I've always dreamed of being an I a VIP at a Gaviner's show. Uh, Trucy? You didn't know who Prosecutor Gavin was before the case. What kind of fan doesn't know the lead vocalist's name? <laughs> oh, this guy, well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. That's right, she didn't know who he was at first. Clavier, what a lovely name. He's so dreamy. Yeah, the I'm a girl. I'm supposed to swoon over gods of rock. Yeah, you're not you're not wrong. But honestly, guys, anyone can swoon over a god of rock. You do you. Oh my god, look at her! She's so cute! God awful, maybe. I bought all their stuff on the way home from the trial. I got 12 Gaviner's albums and 15 concert videos. Damn, girl! That was quite a bit of impulse shopping. I got an advance on my next 15 years worth of allowance. For Mr. Raid, that sounds like a real act of generosity. Oh my god, she's so into it. Bless. So cute. Who would have imagined me here? At a Gaviner's concert, watching Prosecutor Gavin rock. I mean, it's no different than going to his house and- what? Never mind that. To be honest, he was kind of cool and I'm kind of envious. There you go. Let it all out. Not that I'd ever admit that to Trucy. Well, oh. Damn, what the hell's going on in here? What the got village people thing going on here? Because I definitely see a police outfit, among other things. Gavinier's dressing room. Hey, darling, how are you, handsome? Ah, you made it. We sure did. Mr. Gavin, thanks so much for the tickets. And the invoice you sent along with them. You are incredible up on stage, Mr. Gavin. Nothing like music to brighten the mood after a trial, yeah? Yeah, just looking at you brightens my mood. And we're almost ready for our next act. I'm looking forward to it myself. La Mir- Uh-oh, what's that say? La okay, how is it pronounced? La Miroi? Or La Mi- La Mirie- La Miroi? La Miroi, I think, is what it would be. Let me know if I'm wrong, because I'm really sorry to everybody. <laughs> the Siren of the Ballad. Oh, yeah. That flyer said she flew all the way over for the show. That's right. I happened to catch her show while overseas. Her voice is divine. Well, I can't wait to see her. I knew I had to invite her to perform with us. Lamaroy says, You praise me too highly- Oh, is she talking in third person? Wait, what? Whoa! Who the fuck let Abe Lincoln in here? The hell is this? Whoa, who's this guy? He's huge. 
Uh, allow me to introduce Mr. Romain Latous. Lamy Roy is manager. Uh, am I going to assume that Lamy Roy is French? Because I believe that's a French name, but correct me if I'm wrong. And her interpreter, incidentally. Oh, I see. That's why I was said in the third person. He was interpreting. It is a great honor for us to be here. And a great honor for Lamy Roy to be heard in this country. I wonder what country she's from. Whoa! No, 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 no. We don't speak. We don't speak wingdings or Egyptian or whatever that is. We don't speak that. <laughs> what is that? Oh my! Oh my God! What in the world? That voice. I wish I could understand it. It's beautiful. Oh, you know what? Well, you know what isn't beautiful? Um, a lawnmower is starting up right as soon as I decided to do this. Oh well. You guys wanted me to keep that stuff in, so we're doing it. I don't know what that says. <laughs> All right. I just. Whoa. Hello! Okay, so maybe not French, maybe not Egyptian, maybe Romanian? I, I don't know. Could be anything. Wow! I really like, I really like your cloak with, with the stars on it. It's really pretty. I like things like that. Ooh! It's Lamuroy! I'm actually meeting Lamuroy! Lamuroy, mysterious songstress. She's pretty, isn't she? Her quiet, deep song glides through the air. Lilting above a sparse but elegant piano accompaniment. Oh, that, that, that lawnmower is gonna go along real well with it, I feel. Now this is music. She's a real artist. I, I, I don't know what that says. Lamoroy says, we have long looked forward to this joint performance. Ah, Lamoroy, your voice. It is art. Well, I wish I could say something, like... Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry, I wanted to do a beautiful girl's voice, but now I can't. Oh, I, I, okay. Oh, because he doesn't have one, you know he don't. Yet without his piano to guide me, it is but a voice. Whoa, 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 who the hell's that? Whose child is this? I've seen this kid somewhere before. He plays piano at all of Lamoureux's concerts. He's cute, and he's a really good pianist. Good pianists are a dying breed, I hear. Oh, is that a jab at Phoenix? Oh, no. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Machi Tobai. He's blind. Oh, wow. This is why he never strays far from La Meroy. They're always together. Is it her child or something? I guess they're just... mates? They're like characters from some fairy tale. La Meroy, so, um, what's that word? Exotic. Yeah, you're damn right. And mysterious. Of course there's no music when that stupid lawnmower- I'm sorry, I'm gonna talk about the lawnmower the entire time. Hopefully I'll be able to noise pass it so you won't even hear it. But honestly guys, every time I try to start something. Every freaking time. I can't wait till we move. She does seem quite pretty, at least her eyes do. I'm sure she's beautiful, look at her. Hers is a kind of sightseeing music. Huh? She travels the globe, putting the sights she sees into song. Even though her appearance and voice are exotic, her songs remind us of something close and warm. Oh, well, t you remind me of something close and warm. I mean, what? Sights into song? That's so poetic! She was gracious enough to put music to my lyrics tonight. The guitar serenade. I hope you enjoy it. I find it very ironic that we're going to be serenaded by this lawnmower. <laughs> oh god, I really hope you can't hear it. And now at this time... For the next part, we're giving the Gavineers Hard Rock a little rest. La Meroy, the stage is yours. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I don't know what she's saying, but I wish I did. The band members will not play during La Meroy's ballad. Only Machi's tender tones and La Meroy's dulcet voice. And my guitar, of course. Woohoo! Nights like this make it all worthwhile, you know. I should have learned to play the guitar. There's not much romance in Chords of Steel. Well, don't say that, Apollo. There could be. Shall we hit the stage, then? Good luck, Mr. Gavin. Take care. Your hearts aren't stolen away, ya? Yeah? Too late. Too late. Let's get back to the concert hall, Polly. All right, let's go. Please have some music. Thank you. Oh. Uh. Oh, wow, look at... I was gonna sing, but maybe I shouldn't do it. Look at all oh, this looks so cool! Oh my gosh, so nice! Ah, next thing about a lawnmower, please. <laughs> Whoa! 
Whoa, 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 what? Oh, we're, we're okay. It's so fine. Wow, this is cool. Oh my god, <laughs> these models. So she sings in English, does she? I guess she does. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The magic, magic trick. So, oh, oh, no, okay, who's singing? She's still singing. <laughs> Not him. Whoa, 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 what the hell? What's, what's happening? Is that part of the show? <laughs> His guitar literally just caught on fire. Was that part of it? What? What? Oh, okay. This is great. What? <laughs> He's trying to put it out! Look! Oh my gosh! What is this? <laughs> hey, it was so good the, uh, the lawnmower stopped you guys. Alright, here we are. Wow! Wasn't Lamy Roy amazing? I... I even cried a little. I was surprised Prosecutor Gavin actually burned his guitar. It didn't look like he wanted to, did it? Yeah, that even surprised me, and I'm a magician. What a production. What a destruction. I don't think Prosecutor Gavin was expecting it either, oddly. He looked as surprised as I was. Is that what they call risking life and limb for art? I think he's my new hero. I'm not sure I'd call that art. Well, what are we doing here? Let's get going to Mr. Gavin's dressing room. There's 20 minutes to the last part of the show. How many breaks does this band need? Yo, Apollo, have you ever tried to sing and play an instrument at the same time? Yo, it's hard. They need a break. Here we are again. Whoa. What the heck was that? I was never consulted about it. <gasps> he mad, though. But look at that mad face. Ah. Oh. Yes, please. Sorry, Mr. Gavin, sir. I, I asked the man in charge. I play new rock, not great balls of fire. Speaking of fire, I have a good mind to fire whoever is responsible. He seems upset. Apollo Justice, were you the one that tried to torch me? Hey, I didn't do it. So much for risking your life for art. The guitar serenade is ruined. Ruined! Well, let's try to talk to him at least. I'm not sure that's the best move right now. I'm, I'm a little confused. Is this how this chapter really starts? Like there's no like cinematic where someone gets killed? Oh, I guess not. Damn. Uh, okay. Wait, we can actually examine the room right now? What? Well, okay, first let's talk to him. The flaming guitar. Tell me about it. You mean the guitar that wasn't part of the act? Part of the act? Who'd burn up a guitar on purpose? But it worked really well with the lyrics just then. Burning on in my heart, fire. Burn my love away, all away. Wait, you think the audience thought it was... Sounds like he got lucky. They probably thought it was part of the act. At least, I did. Oh, is he happy now? Okay, <laughs> problem solved. He got lucky and he didn't realize it. Anyway, that guitar was the Ferrari of guitars. All the speed, all the sound, and all the price. If I burned one of those at every show, I'd go broke. I'm usually frugal for... Oh, sorry, I thought that was Trucy, since we're looking at her. Try saying that to Mr. Gavin. Actung, today's been one disaster after another. My hog won't run. My guitar case is broken. Your bike is broken again? What is happening with you? You're like the Walmart guy of, of guitar rock. Come on, man. Daddy told me there'd be days like these. That was a that was a play on words for the mama told me there'd be days like this. I get that because I'm old as shit. Wasn't Lamiroy's song incredible? You worked on it too, right, Mr. Gavin? Ah, yeah, thanks. It was a collaboration. I wrote the lyrics and she wrote the melody. You know, I was surprised she could sing in English. I'm sure she practiced a long time for this day. Ah, uh, here. Oh, she has, the, she has the words. What's this? A lyric sheet? It's yours. That's really cool. Oh, they signed it. Oh. Signed by myself and Lamiroy. Yippee! Thanks so much! 
All I ever get to sign are client defense agreements. Apollo, you went into this line of work. You didn't go to be a rock star, all right. Can't be everything. Come on, let someone else have it. Almost time for the third act of the night. Oh, there's more? Yeah, Lamero's part is done. Now it's time for us to drop our groove again, yeah? Something's gonna happen here, isn't it? I'm worried. Hope you're ready to catch it. Catch what? The herbs. Girl, I'm ready if it's from you. Wait, what? No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, Apollo doesn't want to go. Eh? I like the bit with Lamiroy, but the rest could use a volume knob. Turned way down. Oh, it's too its too loud for him, is it? Sometimes I get that way at concerts, too. I have to bring earplugs because, uh, like Trucy sang here, I'm old as shit. Also, my hearing's really good, so everything is, like, extra loud to me. Does 22 qualify as old to a 15-year-old? Yes. Depressing. Trucy would probably think I'm just some kind of mom. Well, I'm going. Bye, Truce. Let the old folks respect stage, yeah? Time to rock. Aren't you older than me? Hey, you're older than I am. Aw, oh, man. I'm looking at everything now that you did that. Look at everything here. Tell me what to do. A postcard of Lamiroy. Look at that. That's pretty. I can't read a single word of the sentence at the bottom. Hmm, Trucy might want one of these. I'll show it to her next time we're here. Why don't you just grab one? I'm sure they're not even going to notice. Police uniform. Next to it is a policeman's hat and a pair of handcuffs. One of the band members must like the police. Must be Mr. Gavin's bad influence. Was that a police reference? Like, to the band? Hell yes. I thought rock and roll was all about being rebellious. Well, you never know. Is this a badger guitar? That's an odd guitar. The design is that character I saw in the hallway, but with sunglasses. What a strange mascot. He looks like he's crying. Since when was Rock about crying? What do you mean? They cry all the time in Rock. They should name this guy Emo. I'm with you. Uh, anything else? Guitar right here. It looks nice. That guitar looks like it was made out of a cop car door. That's right. Trucy's not here to set me straight. Now I feel kind of lonely. Oh, I'm sorry, Paula. There's graffiti on the mirror and lipstick. Wait, but the Gavineers are all guys. So what? Apollo, have you never seen, like, hair or rock bands? They all wear makeup. Maybe Prosecutor Gavin wears lipstick? Are you into it, Apollo? <laughs> I am! Chains dangle from the ceiling. They aren't glimmerous, but I bet Detective Sky would have something to say about it. Wow. Alright. Uh... Is that it? Can... Uh... Anything else? That police officer looks ready to rock. Some kids must see this and actually want to be cops. Somehow I don't think a rocking defense attorney would work too well. What do you mean? I mean, Gavin's already doing it, right? All right, fine. Uh, is there anybody else in here? No, I guess not. Let's go. Hello? Backstage hallway. Hey, it's you! That right kid! What are you doing here? And why is there no music throughout this whole damn chapter so far? Detective Sky, I'll let that right kid business pass. Call me Emma. There's no need for titles once you've shared a bottle of fingerprinting powder. Oh. Is that- are you coming on to me? I'm- I'm for it. I mean, Gavin's not here at the moment. I got time. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a new one. So, uh, Emma, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm snacking. Well, okay. Mood. <laughs> you think I want to be here? Me in charge of security in this pit? You're in charge of security, are you? Well, she is a detective, I suppose. Security? Did something happen? There's no knowing with that glimmerous fop. Apparently, he's all upset because something was stolen. He wanted security back here during the concert. Where does he get off acting like he's some big rock star? Uh, he is a big rock star, though. Hey, you listening to me? So, where's this door here lead to? This one? That's La Miroy's dressing room. Don't even think of going in there unless you want a piece of snack ooze in your face. I might. You don't know what I want? Is she ever in a good mood, I wonder? Leave her alone. She's fine. Alright, fine. Uh, let's talk to her. I, I feel a little bit off still that we haven't had, like, the big reveal, but oh well. Uh, Emma? No. <laughs> She's just snacking. I've never seen someone eat snacks with such vehemence. Better give her a wide berth. What's rude? What are you calling her fat? No, I'm just kidding. She snackered me. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a euphemism. I'm 10 out of 10, I'm telling you. Uh, Emma? 
No. Okay, maybe we've gotta, like... Alright, she... She's just throwing stuff at me. She's just throwing food at me. Okay, fine. Can I examine anything here? Maybe that'll get her talking. I don't even know. So this is Lamoureux's dressing room? If you even think about going in there, I'll... What was that? What was that? Oh, okay. There's a big truck outside. Wait, stop. People are shooting. Oh my god. Something's going on. You, out of my way. Emma! Lamoureux! Lamoureux! It's not locked. I'm going in. Is everything alright? Oh no. Here I come. July 7th, 930. Oh, you can hear like the music. I guess that's the stage music? What's that awful noise? Oh, it's the concert. Oh my goodness! Abe Lincoln has been assassinated. Oh no. It's Lamoureux's manager. Mr. What's-his-name? Latous! Oh no! Hey, you? Me? Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. Right. Understood. You want me to make sure no one comes in, right? And don't touch anything. I'll be back. T touch everything? Gonna do it. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, Abe Lincoln. I barely knew you, though, so I can't really feel that bad for you. What's going on? I just talked to him, and now... <clears throat> he... He's alive! Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Shot. I was shot. Yeah, I we, we see that. Who who shot you? I don't know. Ask. Ask? Ask what? Ask witness. Witness? There was a witness? Who? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold? Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Help is on the way. Can't see. Hang in there, Mr. Latouse. Tell me, who was the witness? The witness is siren. Siren? How can a siren witness anything? Oh no. Oh, he's dying. Mr. Latouse! Yeah, Emma? What was that? Who's there? What's wrong? Emma, did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. I could have sworn I heard a door close. The concert's been cancelled. Backup's on its way. Is Mr. Latus? I think he's dead. He's dead, isn't he? That's terrible. I lost him. It's okay, Apollo. It wasn't your fault. Romain Latus shot. And I heard his last words. The witness is the siren. Whatever that means. Oh dear. Oh dear me! Whoa! Hello! Who the hell are you? I I'm with it, Shark Boy. I'm I'm all for whoever the hell you are. The venue's locked down. We took names and addresses before letting the crowd go. Good work, Darian. I'll let you know if I find out anything about the victim. Later. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, well, who was that? It's investigation time then, yeah, Fräulein Detective. I don't need some rock and rolling prosecutor to tell me that. One request I must make. Tell no one, on staff or otherwise, anything of this. Ooh, a gag order. Why did you get so cool about that, what? No word gets out other than that Mr. Latus is dead. No word of the cause or of the murder. Tell no one? Not even Lamoroy? Not even her. We must keep everything under wraps. Oh, one other thing. I'll need your signature on this, Air Forehead. Yours too, Fräulein. On that? An investigation request. Alright. Why just us? You two are civilians. It's standard procedure. That should be okay to sign. Uh, I think. Paolo, you're a lawyer. Read it over. You never know. You don't know what you could be signing. Right. Well, get started with the investigation. I'm on it already. Alright. Ah, and one tip for you. Huh? Me? Try not to get in the Fräulein detective's way. She's in a foul mood today. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, really? We were all questioned as witnesses. And now, none of us can go home. We'll investigate, all right. Our way. Yeah, uh? Yeah! <laughs> Somehow I don't see us getting back to that crime scene anytime soon. I still can't believe I was there when it happened. 
Not an experience I care to repeat anytime soon. You're all right, Apollo. It's gonna be okay. This is no time for navel gazing. Let's crack this case. I worry about Trucy. She seems to have a very loose idea of what it means to be an attorney. Well, she isn't an attorney, so why should she have an idea? Of course, that's not surprising considering who her father is. Wow! Mean? Something the matter? No. Let's get cracking. Where do we even start? I'm the only one who was there. The only one who heard Mr. Latouse's last words. I wonder if he's going to say anything about that to anybody else. The witness is the siren. That could mean a million things. First order of business is to find out what he meant by siren. How do we do that? Oh. Well. First things first, let's read the thing we got. Information concerning the crime to be restricted to police and related parties. Maybe we can read it? To ensure the efficiency and secrecy of our investigation, the bearer is hereby ordered to speak to no one outside the investigation concerning any details of the case. District Police Chief. All right. Right, well, let's look around in here as much as we possibly can, because I don't think they're going to let us into that room right away. What is this? What's that? It looks like some kind of future phone. Not a phone, a transceiver. It's called a headset. What's a headset doing on the floor? Wait, do you think Mr. Latouse might have been wearing it? Like one of those bodyguards. Hmm, I don't think he was wearing one when we first met. The LED on this thing is lit. It must be on. Maybe someone's listening. You should pick it up. All right, I gotta know about this. That's the blue badger, the police mascot, so it is him. Does the blue badger have something to do with the band? Well, yeah. The blue badger is the Gavinier's mascot too. Huh, go figure. I hear those things fly off the shelves. I'll have to take a closer look at it once someday. Oh God, does that mean we're going to the police station? We might be. Uh, let's see. Bump, bump, bump. Looks like an instrument case, a big instrument case. There's a great magic trick you can do with one of these. Huh? What kind? The miraculous beautiful girl escapes the case illusion. So it's the girl who's miraculous, not the escape? So picky. Well, I'm sorry. Just don't know is all. Concert poster for the Guilty as Charged tour. I love that name, Guilty as Charged. Seems kind of negative to me. Well, why don't we do the opposite? Magician Trucy presents the Innocent as Charged tour. Uh, it kind of loses his impact, doesn't it? Oh. All right, well, can we can we actually move, though? Let's see, she said to stay away from the crime scene, but... Oh, the stage, we can also go... You know, let's go here first, because I'm sure I want to investigate every single thing that happened in here. Lemon Roy's dressing room. Because we didn't even get a chance to look. Oh, it's you. I figured you'd come. You have to let us investigate the scene, please. Your attorneys, no. Shouldn't you wait until you have a client? Latouche did tell me to ask the witness, the siren. With his dying breath, no less, doesn't that count? Glare at me all you want. You'll get no snacks from me. Please, think of poor Lammy Roy. Oh, well, I suppose. You did find the body with me. Great, let's get to it. Oh, thanks. Right. All right, where do we start? Just try not to touch anything. She's letting us look, and she's not munching her snacks. This bodes well. There are clues here, I can feel it. Leave no hanger unhung, no spot unspotted. Well, what you sh well, okay, well you're in the way. Well first let's see if we can talk to you. Mr. Romain Latouse, wasn't it? He was Lamiroy's manager and interpreter, apparently. This was his first time in the country. Hmm, so I'm guessing he didn't know many people here. Doesn't seem likely. Nor can I think of anyone with a motive to murder him. Except one person, of course. One person? Who? Lamaroy. No one here might have had a motive, but she's from... What are you talking about? Oh, hey, it was Emma's idea. I said nothing. <laughs> okay, you just hide behind your snacks then. Always with the snacks. I want a snack too. He's a big man. Was. I don't think even I would win in a fight with him. Which is why whoever it was used a revolver, I'm guessing. We sent a request to the Borginian Embassy for more info on him. Borginian, I guess that's where they're from. Well, you and I know more about the crime than anyone. You do? 
That's true, it was us who found the body. What? Oh, I guess that's what I'd miss for watching the concert. Hey, I wish I was watching the concert. Anything would be better than this. Well, we know the crime took place during the concert. And when we heard the shot and entered the room, the killer was already gone. What? But that doesn't make sense. You came in when you heard the shot and no one was here? How did they leave the room? Oh, that window's a little too small, isn't it? Emma, what are you thinking? The mystery of the disappearing killer. Hmm. Emma, I gotta show you something. Are you ready for it? Look at this badge! You always carry that around, do you? Just like Mr. Wright. Yay! Huh? It's good to never let yourself forget who you are. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. Come to think of it, why do I carry this around? So I can show everybody, of course. Yay, a Emma complimented us. I would say that it worked out well. Um, probably what we'll do here is we will examine everything in the next one, because it looks like we have a lot to examine. Well, I'm very excited, and I hope you guys are too. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!